In the Rammstein flag, there is uh, 12 nations uh, participating with uh, fighter aircraft, but also with uh, uh, other supporter aircraft from uh, different countries. We have a joint air power operation here, and uh, it's uh, the first opportunity that the Alliance uh, uh, exercise the counter uh, A2, AD scenario, the area access, area denial, and also the IMD concept the integrated air and missile defense scenario uh, in order to increase uh, the deterrence of the alliance. The strength of this exercise is really working together uh, with our NATO allies, continuing to refine our, our tactics, techniques and procedures. Um, the, the strength here is that we learn from each other, find what each country is really good at, learn upon that, but also the highlight is we identify our weaknesses and we uh, really work to improve uh, together as, a, as a NATO forces. So yeah, the real benefit is us able to bring the F-35, the latest fifth gen asset. Uh, obviously we have them from other partners uh, within NATO that have them, but it's really the first time at a flag level that we're bringing the F-35 in to really maximize the strengths that AirCap brings, also with our fourth gen aircraft uh, uh, as we integrate uh, at a large, large flag exercise. Yeah, what we're working uh, here is a really uh, realistic uh, and uh, complex scenario uh, where we uh, try to get inside an enemy air defense area. So counter uh, area access and area denial is uh, one of the main efforts we train here. Our aircraft, the uh, Gripen, uh, is built for a dispersed operation in Sweden. That means that we can actually land or take off at uh, remote highways, uh, so that's uh, really useful. This is the first real live ex exercise for the Swedish Air Force. What I'm looking forward to is uh, exercises like this, where we actually can uh, meet uh, and train together, so we can fly, fight and uh, win uh, if needed as one. So uh, Rammstein flag is a multinational exercise uh, from uh, NATO. Yeah, it brings a lot of uh, NATO countries together uh, to train on a, a complex tactical level. So Spain is bringing uh, to the game pretty much uh, six uh, Eurofighters uh, with uh, all their capabilities. You can fly together and then you can land and have a face-to-face -face debrief, which is actually where we actually get all the, the valuable uh, lessons uh, from the flight. So the uh, main difference when, when we train back home and when we train here is that uh, all the different nations uh, bring uh, different capabilities to the, to the fight. Learning how to integrate all those capabilities together to be efficient and at the end uh, getting the mission done is, uh, is what is the biggest outcome, I would say. So the DARS uh, is designed to be an integrated platform along with other airborne, maritime and land uh, aspects to have a fused common picture for everyone to operate from. Uh, we use that through data links, uh, all contributing to a central picture that goes up through the combined air operation centres and ultimately contributes to the air policing picture that NATO provides. DARS is made up of uh, multiple agency contributions from NCIA, NSPA, uh, and it's contributed by many nations through personnel as well and funding. We've got 12 nations represented, NATO nations represented here, uh, and 16 within the DAC. So we're here on Raffle to hone our skills in the large flying exercise that it is. And we do that because we're held at high readiness to make sure that we can go into the field and be a sustainable capability out to uh, whatever is required by the command chain. 
we are mainly uh, focusing on the two main objectives of this exercise, that is training together with our uh, allied countries, uh, operations of uh, IAMD and counter A2 uh, AD. So uh, Portugal, as one of the founder countries of the, Ali of the Alliance, uh, has always looked into the Alliance to the utmost uh, importance. Um, and being here together with our allies allow us to face some challenge of cooperation and integration. And nowadays, especially with the fifth generation, to make sure that we put to test our uh, operational capability so that we can take our lesson learns and that we can redirect again our training back home.